These next problems we'll take a look at are also going to be using the FOIL method. The FOIL method is the order in which you multiply these. It's first, outer, inner, last. So for this, we'll start with the first terms, 5 times 2, which is going to give us 10. Then we'll take 5 times this. Again, the 5 can't be multiplied inside the square root. It has to stay on the outside, so we're going to do a 5 square root of 5. The inner terms, we've got a 2 multiplied by negative 5, so it'll be a minus 2 square root of 5 there. And then we have the last. So we did the inner terms just now, and now we'll do the last terms. Minus sign, and then you have root 5 and root 5, so square root of 25 when you multiply those together, or you could just write it out as square root of 5 squared if you prefer either one of those. It's fine. Now, these two middle terms, these are uh, terms that we can combine together because they both have a root 5. 5 minus 2 is 3, so we have a 3 radical 5. And then the 25, square root of 25, we can turn into a 5. Now we're going to combine this together. We have a 10 minus 5 is 5, so 5 plus 3 radical 5. And then there's nothing more we can do there because these are not like terms, so you just leave your answer as that. The next one, we're going to do a similar way. So we're going to do doing this one by the foiling method. So here we have first. So 4 times 3 is 12. And then we have outer plus 4 square root of 2. Then we have the inner terms. That's going to be a 3 square root of 7. And then we have the last terms. Square root of 7 and square root of 2. That's going to get square root of... 14 because we can again use the multiplication principle and we can just multiply the two things inside the radical to get one radical left over. Now, if we take a look at what we have, we see that none of these are like terms. The two middle radicals, they're both different because there's a square root of two and a square root of seven. We can't combine those together at all. And then we have a 12 and a root 14. When root 14, we can't, uh, can't change that into an integer because you've got a seven and a two and both of those are prime. So in this case, you would just leave your answer as that. There's nothing more we can do as far as simplifying. Okay, so now let's do one more of these. We'll do this here. We'll do the first outer inner last. Okay, so we'll do the eight times six is gonna be 48. That's the first terms and we'll do the outer. So we have an eight and square root of two, so plus eight square root of two. Let's do the inside ones. It's gonna be a minus six square root of two. And the end, we have square root of two and square root of two, which is gonna equal square root of four. So 48 plus, now these two middle ones, we can combine these together because they both have a square root of two. So these are like terms this time. Eight minus six is a two. And we just put the square root of two on the end right there. And then we can do square root of four, square root of four becomes a two. So 48 minus two is gonna be 46. And so we get 46 plus two square root of two. Those are not like terms we don't have anymore. So that, that's as far as we can go with our answer.